Hi, welcome to DX Engineering's Q&A Wednesday. I'm Rod, K8RR. And I'm Mark, W8BBQ. And uh, on this week's edition, you know, we usually try to talk about something different every week, help out as many people as we can. But we had so many questions coming in referencing grounding situations after uh, last week's show that we decided to do a little follow-up on that. So we're going to continue on with that. And um, in reference to grounding, we'd like to start with uh, these straps here. These are our newest. Uh, this is a very new product for us. And um, they're cut to length, certain um, grounding straps. That's right. And they have multiple uses. Really flexible, as you can see. So you could use these uh, between pieces of equipment and a ground bus. You could use it between a grounding panel and a ground rod. Right. Um, they come Excellent in for that. one, uh, it's actually six inches, one foot, mm -hmm. two feet, three feet, four feet, um, and six feet. And very easy to work with. Um, and we have them coming in at the uh, last uh, week or so, last week and a half uh, uh, of 2019 in, in October. Right. Say, Rod, uh, there's, how do I find these? Yeah, how do you find them? <laughs> uh, put up into the search flexible copper. Okay. And then, and then you'll get to this page where you see these flexible ground strap jumpers and also the standard flexible copper ground straps. Now in a lot of cases you would use inch and a half or two inch wide copper strap for a main grounding uh, bus. Correct. But uh, if that's too wide, then this flexible one inch wide pre-cut with uh, holes punched is uh, much better yeah. than anything else. You don't want to use wire or a tin copper no. braid outdoors because this, that would I have disintegrate. Uh, two waterproof enclosures with all my grounding equipment in and I use these straps to go from them uh, those waterproof enclosures uh, over to this ground rod. But once I get over there, how do I fix this to the ground rod? Well we have uh, special clamps and uh, one of the special clamps that we have also accommodates uh, the uh, lightning protector. So you can get the lightning protector out while I'm getting out the uh, special uh, DX Engineering UCGC, which is a special clamshell clamp, and we have uh, special stainless steel hardware. And so then this combines together mm -hmm. in a in a sandwich pattern, right, right on the ground rod, and, and that strap can go right this in is between. Really cool. See, so when you tighten that down, that also fixes the copper strap to the ground rod, right. And in addition, as Rod mentioned, <coughs> there's pre-drilled holes on this uh, clamp that allow you to mount the different lightning protectors protectors and, uh, and surge protectors. I was just trying to flip it this side so they could, I was trying to show off that DX Engineering brand label. Oh, is that what it was? Yes. Okay. Those are well, there's the DX Engineering brand label. Yeah. We'll show a big picture on the screen here in just a second. And then, of course, these protectors um, can mount like, like that or like that, however you want to um, have them oriented. Right. We'll show that on the screen here in just so a second. So you got your uh, your enclosure or whatever you know equipment you're using to ground uh, you know from the antennas coming in here in, into a real nice clamp, and then also you've got the uh, the coax and the feed line from your antennas coming to the same clamp and ground rod. Yeah, actually, let's show it this way. Yeah. So sandwich your copper uh, between the copper onto the copper, and then mount your uh, your protectors. Uh, the other, you know, and it could be mounted over here so that you don't have any uh, clash between the cable and the connectors mm -hmm. and, the, and the ground rod and the, and the clamp. So uh, whenever you put this whole thing together, make sure to use JetLube SS30. Um, and uh, here's that uh, pure copper anti-seize lubricant that we sell to put that whole thing together like that. That's a nice shot. Isn't that a nice shot? Mm -hmm. That's on our website too. Um, the DX Engineering Surge Arresters are um, exactly the same manufacturer as the Polyphaser. Um, they're uh, DC block, uh, multi-strike capable, and uh, they do a great job for uh, VHF, UHF, as well as HF. We have them available in a flange mount that we have here. That's a flange mount, um, or bulkhead mount. and. Uh, 
also a UHF and end connector. And don't overlook this clamp. It seems like a simple thing that, oh, I, you know, you may think that I can go ahead and make something up myself, which you could, obviously. But um, these are pretty unique, and uh, they work extremely well. They make for not only a neat installation, but a very good grounding of your equipment. So make sure you check these out. Low impedance grounding lasts longer with uh, flexible copper strap, uh, which we have coming in. Uh, these jumpers are coming in. We already have, of course, the wider copper strap uh, in longer lengths, yeah. but these uh, shorter lengths of the flexible copper strap are coming. Mm -hmm. uh, you, don't, you don't want to use the braided strap outside it's just because right. of the way it's manufactured water egress and it just starts to degrade you know rather quickly did we mention that we have Erico ground rods in stock as I well i don't think we did mention okay well there. now i did and of course we've talked about this great book uh, that you should pick up if you want to step learn one. more about grounding that would be step one yeah cool i think that's it that's it for this time check us out next time for more q a wednesday from dx engineering seven three